Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be configuring the Cisco ICE app in Splunk. So per our previous video, we installed a bunch of apps. As you can see here, if you go to apps, we can see two apps installed for ICE. There's the add-on app, which needs to be installed prior to the actual ICE app itself, and the Cisco ICE app, which has all the dashboards and stuff you'd need. So the first part of our configuration will start out in Cisco ICE. We're going to go to Administration, System, and Logging, and we're going to set up a remote logging target for Splunk. So let's go ahead and add one. This is going to be UDP syslog. You also have the option of TCP syslog and secure syslog. I'm just going to keep it simple and UDP syslog. So we're going to call this Splunk. And the IP address is going to be the IP address of our Splunk server. If you have a forwarder or something else, you could also use that, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, port would remain 514, but you can change it to one that you'd like. Um, when it comes to Splunk adding data inputs, you can actually configure a separate port, but I'm just going to leave it at, eight, uh, at 514. The maximum length, that's what we're going to change. That's going to be 8192. That's the max size. So we can send more data. Click Yes. And the next thing we do is we configure the logging tar targets uh, or the logging categories. Where, what what syslog uh, logs we're going to send over there to Splunk. So for the Cisco um, ICE app, there's certain ones that are predetermined uh, dashboards are created for. So we're going to configure that in this lab. If there are other things that you want to send over, other categories, you can send them over to ICE as well. It just won't pre-populate in the Cisco ICE dashboard. What you would have to do is uh, create a custom dashboard to visualize that data. So what we'll start out with is AAA audit. We're going to move Splunk over there and click Save. Then we'll go back to failed attempts and past authentications. We're going to add both of those, past authentications. Then we're going to do AAA diagnostics, add that as well. Uh, let's go to accounting. Then radius accounting. Um, administrative and operational audit. Posture and Client Provisioning Audit. Posture and Client Provisioning Diagnostics. External MDM. Profile, profiler Data. System diagno Diagnostics. System statistics. And that's all we have to do over on the ICE side. So let's go over to, to Splunk and we're going to have to add a data source. So click Add Data. And we're going to do Monitor. And as you can see here, you can have it monitor a file or a directory. Um, HTTP collect, event collector, TCP, UDP, or scripts. In this case, we're going to do TCP, UDP. We're going to choose UDP, port 514, and we're going to only accept connections from ICE, which is 10.1.100.21. That's my ICE IP. Click Next. And we're going to select a source, which is going to be Cisco ICE syslog. And for host, we'll just go ahead and change that to IP address. And we'll click Review and Submit. Next, we're going to go ahead and trigger an authentication so it shows up in that dashboard. So let's go ahead and authenticate one of my 802.1x hosts. And as we can see here, past authentications are starting to show. If I go to ICE past authentication summary, here we go, we can see it as well. So as 
my lab isn't very busy right now, so there's not going to be a lot of stuff. But as you're, if you have a real, uh, real life production environment, it's going to get a, a pretty busy, and you'll see a lot of nice visualizations. Um, I guess let's go ahead and walk through this real quick. So as you can see here, this profiler data that's sent, you can see um, see what type of data, uh, what type of uh, profile. Uh, profile devices are seen on the LAN. Uh, we could do also authentications passed by, you know, authentications by specific location, failed authentication summary, a lot of guest attempts, device summary for all locations or specific location. You of course can alter these and or edit these, these uh, dashboards. Compliance summary if you're doing posturing, client provisioning if you're doing BYOD. Uh, system health information for like statistics on the ice node itself, as you can see here, CP utilization, disk utilization, auth latency, things like that. Um, if there's any alarms on the ice server itself, it'll also send o be sent over here. And yeah, just based off that syslog, you'll get uh, syslog data. You'll get a lot of different information. So that with that being said, it's pretty simple to set up. There's a lot of things you can do to manipulate this. Um, and if you decide that one of these ICE dashboards are like are perfect for the home dashboard, you can go ahead and select a, a dashboard to um, let's go ahead and so if I wanted to do like the ICE overview dashboard as my main dashboard, I can actually choose that as the default one when I first log into Splunk. Obviously, if you have a lot of stuff out there, you might want to choose something else like the you know this the Cisco security suite or something along those lines, but just kind of giving you an overview of how to add the add uh, ice into Splunk and configure and configure that I, Cisco ice app. With that being said, thank you for watching, and we'll go ahead and move to the next video.